What's going on, everybody? It is Logan with Socialverse. So we're excited to announce that we're finally launching the Agency Brain Ecosystem. So what act actually is the Agency Brain Ecosystem? So essentially, the system is something that we created for internal use a while back just because we were getting information overload, just information in so many different apps and not knowing what to do with all the information or what steps to take or where to start essentially. So we created this brain ecosystem to kind of be our second brain for the, the, the agency essentially. And then that allows us to see everything that we need to know from one point, all the data gets pulled into the brain ecosystem. And then from there, it gets aggregated into the places that we think it should be based on different tags and categories. So let's show you what exactly it is. So this is actually a template, like I said, that you guys can duplicate. Um, it's for sale. If you use the code brain launch, you'll get $21 off your order, making the template only $19. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but that's limited time only. Uh, so make sure you get started and get that locked in before that deal's over essentially. So let's walk into it. So here we have a lot of different things inside of the agency brain ecosystem. Once you get this template, it is yours to use. You can do whatever you want with it. You just cannot resell it as is. You can do whatever you want with it. You just cannot resell it as is. That's all I have to say about that. Um, now we have kind of like the main hub that we're looking at everything. And obviously you can come in here and move things around. This is just what we have set up, what we've found, what works best in our agency and our setup. And all these essentially are our different main pages that you can see all the data off of. But the brain, how does it work? Let's, let's transition into that. So all of these are different databases inside. And I'll show you that in a second. Here we have a quick note where you can just make any notes here. You can add tags and everything. You got your to-do list, you got your support tickets, but here's the main hub. So this is the main brain. So let's start with how does the brain work? The brain gets all these data. So essentially every single one of these items are a new page. What happens and where do we get that data from? So what we actually have set up is we have custom integration set up for Integrately, the Socialverse app to send uh, data. So essentially, when it's a new form gets created in Socialverse, such as a website development and design experts get a design quote today, or maybe an onboarding form, all that information will get pulled into here, the app, and then we'll get transitioned into kind of what we call that page on that that ecosystem. So we're going to find and search the, the SV brain because that's what database we're searching for. And your guys' example, if you rename it, it would be named that. Um, but if you don't rename it, it would be agency brain ecosystem that you'll want to find here. Then this is where you can come in and essentially pick all of the tags. This is where you can fill out all the information that is tied to that page. So as you can see, we have viewed, we have the name, we have the bucket. The bucket essentially is... Um, what type of class is it? Is it a personal item? Is it an agency item? Is it a family item? Is it a business item? And et cetera, essentially. You can add, obviously, more or delete these. Um, and then we have team. So what is team? Team goes into what team does it belong to? Is it other? Is it a client? Is it a dev team? Is it a website accounts team? Is it a manager's team? Is it an admin? And is it a sales team? Is it a support team? Is it a partner? What is it? What team does it belong to? Then the status. And obviously, some of these you'll see have a lot of no status. That's because that specific form or field does not apply to them. And then status is probably one of the biggest ones here we have here, um, just because there's so many different data options that we have set up. And this is the main trigger point across the data uh, system, I guess we have set up inside of the brain. So this is kind of what we set up with active client in progress, proposal sent, hosting issue, prospect. Essentially, these are different tags that go to the property to tell us what's the status. And then we have a CRM status. So if it's going into like a lead um, or if it's a client, that tells us what status they're in. So we have no status if they don't belong anything. If it's a new lead, active lead, pause client, billing issue, um, and so much more. So all this is going to make sense here in a second. So just stay with me. Tags. So next we have tags and tags are telling us what exactly is it? Is it an automation? Is it a tool? Is it a business builder? Do they have the marketing website? Are they a marketing client? Are they mobile app client? Is it an open ticket? Is it a closed ticket? Tags are also probably one of the most important things because that tells us exactly what it is. And then we have scheduling, importance, priority, 
um, and then due date. And obviously, we have so many different fields. We have the, how much it's worth, the billing rate, um, billing dates. If it's archived, if you used it, viewed it, and you don't need to necessarily see it no longer in the brain, you can actually archive it, and it goes to the archive. You can see the email, account owner. Obviously, all this is information that you guys can fill out. Everything that is in here is a template. Um, or a resource or just an example to show for this purposes. So obviously this is the main brain. This is where all the data gets pulled in from once again, the applications that we set up, all these automations. We also have it in Zapier where it creates a database no notion item. We can obviously set it in the database, what the tags are, the CRM status, the team that it belongs to. And essentially what that does is it puts it in here. And then once it's in the brain, this is the main brain, it will be aggregated to different places inside of Notion. So for example, we have all clients. If you click all clients, you're gonna see the clients that are tagged with all clients. If you go to leads, you're gonna see all the, all the ones that have no status or are leads. And obviously we can come in here and change this. If we wanna come in here and change this to the CRM status is only leads, active lead, um, closed lead, and that's essentially what we can do that. So now we're gonna see the clients that only have the tags active leads, uh, not viewed. So if you haven't viewed something, it's gonna pop up here, resources. So once again, this is where it comes in. Uh, inside of this Notion base, database template, we're actually providing 100 plus different resources for you. So all these are different quick automations, codes, tools, resources, a lot of different tools, automation set up, um, copy to use. So different website copy or service onboarding copy that you could use. And these are just old uh, basic copy and templates and resources that we had in the past that we decided to include in this. Um, once again, a lot of different tools that you can use. Um, some you may use, some you may have not. And then here's where your schedule would show up based on dates on everything that you set within the brain. So essentially, once again, all the data that you set in the main brain gets aggregated to different places. So this is not the only place that it goes though. As you can see, we have a support ticket says customer service or customer support inquiries. So essentially anybody fills out a support ticket or contact form on our website, then based on that automation we have set up and that tag that we have set with that automation, we're actually gonna pull that database item into the brain and then it's gonna automatically aggregate it to this section since we have tagged it with open tasks and then we go to oh it's going to automatically pull into here since we tagged it with open ticket and then obviously as you can see if you go to closed tickets we don't have any that are set with closed tickets so nothing's going to show up so that's one place now we have kind of a to-do list. So any item that you have set and automatic with automation set to be a to-do list, a task, an onboarding, all overdue, in progress will show up right here. And obviously you're, you're free to come in each one of these and actually set up and add different tags, move it throughout. So maybe it's no longer in progress. That's when you could come in here and actually switch it to maybe to-do. And I, as you see, it's going to automatically move it to the item based on where it's at. And then when you do tag it, it'll aggregate it to anywhere you need it to be in the Notion database based on how we have set up the tags. Um, and then another thing to note, we actually have included a client template page. So once again, this is an old page that we created a long time ago that just kind of gives us a home page to see all the data for every specific client that we have. When we get a new client, this page gets duplicated. We come in here and change the logo. We change the cover. We obviously edit the name. Um, this is something where you can put your own information here, your own contact, all of that. And we obviously recommend that don't use ours because this page you can actually share with your clients so they could stay updated on what's going on, task list, what they need to do, different links they have, uh, the drive folder, all from their Notion link that you would send them essentially. And as you can see, we have like a the Google Drive folder or whatever drive to use for content purposes. You link that right here. You've got your project info and resources with billing dates, domain provider, website hosting. This is pretty much just information about the client, anything you would need to know about the client, what software, services, systems they're using, et cetera. Um, next, we have the client's website actually link. Obviously, all these are just templates. 
uh, and just what we have used for example purposes, you would change this with the client's website here, your help center here, your sum support ticket, or um, however you handle that side of things here, your academy, whatever resources you want to do here. Then next you're going to have on top of that, you're going to have first del deliverables. So first deliverables. So anything um, that you want to include that to show the client what they're actually getting on their service, you could add here. You can obviously change this to whatever you want. You have a tasks list, so you could add different tasks. Say, I need to do this, I need to do that. They've got drop downs, then the client schedule. Once again, you can obviously edit this to however you like. Once you purchase the brain, it's yours to use. Um, so going back into that, that's that client page. We got the do list with quick notes. So quick notes are just something that you can do on the go. Um, just write a quick note tags, information about it, whatever you want to do. And then from there, at the end of the day, as you can see, you're going to clear it. And what that means is move those or create pages based on what they need or mark them off or whatever it is. Um, so let's actually dive into the pages. So the first one is all leads slash all clients. So this is pulling information from the brain. Any tag or information that's tagged inside of the brain, that's active client, new lead, active lead, billing issue, pause client, pretty much any client or prospect or anything like that will be pulled into this first section that's the all CRM. Now, if you wanna see just all your clients, you can actually do that. And you can see all the clients that are tagged with those specific tags. And then if you wanna see just all leads, you can come in here and, and see just the leads. So whether it's a new lead, an active lead, a closed lead or a lost lead, you can see all of that in here. And actually inside of each one of these, you can come and add different properties to show. So maybe you want to see um, what status they are inside of this client page or how much they're worth. Let's go ahead and turn that on. The CRM status is on. Let's turn that. And status and overall, you can see that's what it shows us what we have to do. So it shows us the price, active client. It's, a, it's in to do. So there's something to do for this client. This is just all running good in progress. This client has a billing issue. So that shows us everything that we need to know right then and there. And that's essentially kind of the main page for this, all CRM. And once again, this just gives you a different page for each section to see all of the data. After that, we have support tickets. So once again, all of those support tickets get pulled into here. Any ticket that is set with status open is gonna get pulled into here. Closed tickets will be pulled here. And I'll show you how you set this up real quick. So you can come into open ticket. You're going to filter. Now, what we're going to filter by is tags. And the tag is set as open ticket. Obviously, that pulls all the tickets that are set to open ticket. Now, if we come in here and actually change this item to closed ticket and get rid of open ticket, obviously moves it away from open tickets and puts it in closed tickets. Same thing. Let me add this here see all closed tickets, you're only gonna see the tickets that are closed. That's how that page works, pretty simple. Essentially all the pages are the same, it's just showing you what information goes in there and you can pull different information and send different information throughout the brain. Um, whenever you update any of the tags, it'll automatically move that item throughout the brain. We have active clients, so obviously you're gonna see all your active clients, your hosting clients, your live clients, your terminated clients, uh, any of your clients all on this page, Next, we have uh, the notes. So you can obviously come in here and change this to agency notes or your brain or whatever title you want for this notes page. All this is gonna be is just quick notes. So um, anything that has the status of note is gonna be pulled into here. And this is where you're gonna be able to see all that information. If it's a note, if it's a thought, if it's an idea and not necessarily a client or anything like that. Your task inbox, so this is once again your task inbox, your, your to-do list, kind of like that side of things. You're going to see all the tasks you have, your open tasks, your completed tasks, and your not viewed tasks. So essentially things that you have not viewed yet. All of these, once again, work off of tags. This one specifically works on a checkbox. So once you have viewed something, you can actually, actually click the checkbox, and that shows the brain essentially that you've viewed it, you've seen that item, you know it's there. We already went over a client page. Um, you can obviously change the name again. Then we have more internal resources. So the account manager center, this would be more for like if you have team members, you can add different passwords, you can add different information or places that they need to go, content folders. So like if they upload content to a specific 
place. You could do that. You could add all of your support in here. Um, but for now, we actually just set up resources and customer support copy. So you could actually come in here and add more resources for your team to kind of use um, almost as a help center. So if they get any questions or customer support inquiries, they can come to this database and actually look through resources, tools to suggest, copy to use, et cetera. Now we're going to move into SOPs, so standing operating procedures. We have included some very basic old ones inside of here. Um, as you can see, these are just all a bunch of different operating uh, procedures and different things and copy that we have set for you guys to have inside of here. Next, we have a partner network. So essentially a partner network is anybody that is a contractor. So obviously this is not set up yet because I didn't wanna give all of our contracts is obviously to you guys for free um, or inside this template, excuse me. But um, this is where you can actually set up different tags inside of the brain automations that you've set up where if they're a partner, they're a contractor, you'll be able to pull all of your contractors, all your partners, all inside of one system, one database. So you can kind of manage their profiles and pages easier. Then next we have uh, services and offers. So this is actually empty, but this is kind of where we would put the different services we offer. So if anybody had any questions, we can go and see what's included in it really quick, really fast. We could share a link with them directly if we needed to. Um, income and expenses tracker. So this one's a cool one. Um, it does help. So we can actually come in here and set a filter on this and set a tag to, let me move this real quick. We can actually come in here and set a tag to expense or income. And this will essentially show us, hey, it's an expense or it's an income. This is an income of $2,200. This is an expense. This is an expense of $45. So it'll show you kind of income and different expenses. Um, so that's a cool one just to kind of watch what's going on with everything. And then finally, we have archived items. So I talked about this at the beginning. This is kind of archived items. If you have something that gets set to archived uh, through this checkbox, you'll essentially get moved here. Overall, that is the brain, that's the ecosystem. That is how you can import data to your brain and then it gets aggregated to different places. And what's cool is you can actually add a second layer of automation on top of this. So when a page or a resource or whatever it is and a database item gets moved to a certain point inside of the brain or a certain tag, you could have different automations set up that then send text messages or send emails or send updates or whatever you want. Essentially, you could create an automation with um, and connect it to the system. But overall, that's how you use the brain. That's what the agency brain ecosystem is. Once again, it's a Notion template you can duplicate today. Um, the, the link will be attached to this video in the description. Make sure you use the code brain launch with a capital B to get $21 off your order of this template. Once again, that's a limited time offer. So make sure you get started and take action to get that offer locked in before it expires. Um, depending on when you're watching this video, that will determine if the code's expired or not. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And please let us know if you guys have any questions on how to use the agency brain ecosystem. And please let us know what your thoughts are on it. See you.